So here is a quick video on how we can create a solid body by making use of surfaces or patches as they are called in Fusion 360. In this model, I have created three patches. One is an extrude from a rectangle. Next, we have a patch extruded from a spline. And lastly, we have another patch extruded from an arc. To form the shape required, we need to perform some trimming operations. First, let's change our workspace to Patch, then go to Modify and Trim. I'm going to hide the patch created by the arc so that we can focus on the top half of the model. First, I'm going to use the patch created by the spline as a cutting tool to slice away the top of the rectangular box. So select the spline patch as the cutting tool, which turns blue. Next, you need to select areas to remove. Make sure to check that the area turns red. If it doesn't, it means that the selection was not successful. Sometimes you might need to rotate the model and select again. Next, we need to trim away the excess of the spline patch using the box as a cutting tool. To repeat an earlier tool, right-click and go to Repeat Trim. Or you can simply hold down the right mouse button and slide upwards. This time, select the box as the cutting tool and then select the area to remove. Repeat these steps using the patch created by the arc. Once done, you would have achieved a watertight and closed volume made out of patches. If you do a section analysis at this point, you can see that the model is hollow. To make this into a solid, go to Modify and Stitch. Box select the entire model and you can see that the three patches get highlighted in the browser. Under Operation, choose to make a new body. Once you hit OK, you will see in the browser that the three patches disappear and a single solid body is formed. Doing the section analysis again, we can confirm that this is indeed a solid body.